Hey, it's Blake Snatch Alive, and we're going to go look at the Seminole pumpkins. My friend David from down south gave me seeds last January. There's the passion fruit and the flowers. So I planted the first Seminole pumpkins inside the garden, and they started in the back corner. Let's take a first look in here first. I've already picked about 15. Oh, them passion, hold for a second. Them passion flowers smell so good. It's one of the passion flower butterflies. I'll have to come back to pollinate these. See the fruits are doing good. All right, so it started back here. All right, so as you can see, the, the vine started back here. So I planted one inside the garden. And as it grew, it lost its leaves and as it kept going and made new vines and new vines that shot off and as they shot off to make new ones they would have their flowers and you can see the fruits very giving squash I mean I can't believe how much it gives with very little care so there, there it goes. It started here. You can see where it all shot through here. There's more pumpkins. There it went way over there. And over here near the banana trees. These are the Orinoco ones. Variety. We can talk about them another day. But I wanted to show you. I got a a lot of clumps from John, one of his friends. So you can see, wow. Here's some yucca, cassava, chili congas, as you've seen. I gotta pick more. The okra has got beat up by the pest this year. I'll probably keep a few just for the seeds. So let's start counting the pumpkins. Let's walk around, we'll count, and we'll pick. I got one, two, three, four, five over there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's like twelve inside the fence. We'll walk around. Let's go over here. I like walking around looking at everything, especially when things are growing good and making a lot of fruits. And I'll have to pollinate these like I was talking about. Oh, there's a little, even the yellow jackets are trying to pollinate it. All right, let's keep going. So this is the same vine. Okay. See where the I had a few pest issues, some type of caterpillar, and then I had some type of boring insect. That was about it. No powdery mildew. Walk over here. There's some more. This is from the one inside the garden. Just making a new one. Got more. Gonna pick a lot today. Now I had one issue with the pumpkin was this. I think some type of insect got got inside of it. And let me tell you, it stinks. It smells really bad. So that's one thing I might have waited I may have waited too long to pick it. And as soon as you pick it, it can store in the house for months to up to a year and a half to even some two years. Thanks to David from down south. Thank you so much. Just a few seeds. And I planted I think two over here so you see there's more see the deer's got these leaves there's more there there's my eucalyptus I gotta finish trimming back here another one hiding I try to keep some vegetation like these uh, beauty berries because they I use them for the mosquitoes and the deer to try to confuse them to chew on these because they don't like there's another one, that's a big one. 
Another one. Look over here. See? I think everyone needs to grow these seminal pumpkins. They sure give a lot. It's another one. Another one. It feels good out here today too. Let's see what else? There's a few there. Oh, we got some over here. Two. There you go. Look at that. That's a big one too. We have one here that came from the garden. another one making now uh, here's the uh, the avocado fantastic and a and a papaya grew beside it. I don't know how it got in there John did you put papaya seeds in your uh, avocado plants when you plant them I don't know but this growing through I'm gonna leave it here's my mulberry that I did from air layer see the trunk of it it's already putting on more mulberries. See the fig trees are doing good. These are doing, oh wow. Look at that, this one snuck up on me. Little fig fruit, finally, on these. I can't remember the name of these real quick. If I see the tag, it'll come back to me. I want to call it an Olympia, but it's not the Olympia. And it's not a mine sore banana. I want to call it that for some reason. No way. No way. Look at this. We finally have one that looks ready. You know what? I might just pick it and share it with my stepdad. He really wanted to try it. That's what I'll do. Got to share. What's the name of this one? Don't you hate when you forget? The name of plants when you know like thousands of them. All right. I know there's a tag somewhere. Let's go look at the Olympia fig. And maybe that'll help us. Now this one I got when I was in Fernandina from somebody, and it makes a really good fig. I don't know what variety it is. So here's the Olympia one, Olympia. And it's got lots of little figs on it right here. First year having figs. Um. I wanted to see if there's a tag. Wait, that looks like a tag. Can we identify it? Oh, white Marcellis. There we go. These are white Marcellis. The rest of these are white Marcellis. What I learned from John, and I'm getting off subject with the pumpkins, these, the more mulch you give them and old tree trunks beside, beside the trunk, or like how I have here around the trunk of the fig, they will produce so much fruits. And when I started cutting back on the nitrogen, because now I have them at a certain size, that would be good to uh, get fruit. Remember, they're going to only make fruit off the, uh, the branches that are shooting up. Now this one was lower down, but you can see it's an upright branch. And anything upright will put, produce more fruits. And these will eventually, they're just, uh, I kind of gave them too much fertilizer, nitrogen, and I learned the hard way. But it's okay, that's how you learn. You gotta, you keep on going and ask questions and trial and area, area, if I can talk right. Trial. Oh, there's a Mame growing. It's going pretty good. So these are all Marcellis. And that's... The only fig I see over here. That makes that makes me feel happy. That was making a fig. I, I didn't even see it. See, you'll have stuff sneak up on you. This one I had pulled down and uh, thought about just shoving this into the ground and let it grow up from the ground. And all these ones shooting up will be. A place for it to bear because it's gonna bear on the upright branches shooting up 
and then this one I pulled it down and now I'm making all kind of side branches that some of these will have to prune out. There's a Fuyu persimmon from John. All right, let's walk over here. There's a Dandi avocado tree. There's another uh, pumpkin. Is that one even okay anymore? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I waited too long. Oh my goodness. Okay. So they're real spotted. I think they're bad. Look at me wasting pumpkins. I can't believe I did that. I love them. This is where they got the butternut squash. They bred it from these seminal pumpkins. That one's still good. Here's the sugar cane. I never did an update on them. This is the one I got from the county agency office. It almost looks like the same ones that I got from Conrad that are here. Remember that video? How to plant sugar cane? There you go, look at that. All right, let's walk over here. Here's some of the uh, castor bean. I had to cut back, it fell. Got even a uh, little mango growing. A mango growing there. Here's the guava. This is the white Asian guava. Had some issues with fire ants. They were eating it. Here's the one I got from my other friend that's named David that lives here. It's a different type of guava, like a red one. My friend David down south. He has some really tasty guavas. So this is the the white Asian guava. And it's putting on new fruits. I had like three and they got attacked by fire ants. Let's see and see how they're doing because the fire ants were messing with them. Had to kill them back. There's another one. See how good the trunk's doing. I'm going to protect this one. Then. Last year the cover fell off. We'll build something around it. Put on new branches. But there you go. Got like three fruit. It's not bad. Had a little jackfruit that popped up. We'll show you some more. Here's a mysore banana I got from John. Itty bitty but it's growing. Here's another Orinoco banana tree. You see we mounted them. Put tree trunks, like old tree trunks that are cut around it and a lot of mulch. And the more you do, the better it's gonna grow in nitrogen. A lot of water, they love it. And look, a seminal pumpkin grew all the way over here. Here's another eucalyptus. Here's my uh, sweet sugar bell. Add some of the the citrus butterfly larva. If the tree was bigger. I'd let a few stay on there, but I had to pick them off. It's doing good. Let's look at the uh, white sapote. Now I had to dig it back up because it wasn't doing good. It had sunk in the ground, so I redug it up. And it's finally coming back. I thought I was going to lose it. I think we'll see better results with it next year. They had some issues with the. Uh, you can see some caterpillars in the. You can see right here, this little guy trying to eat everything. Go over here. Here's my bamboo. The base of one that I keep in a, a pot. This one came from my papa. Got some loquats from seed growing. I have a black sapote growing. A little seedling if you can see it. Here's some mimosa. Can't remember the other name, but watch this. The leaves will usually close up. Well, it's doing it really slowly. You can't even tell. But 
but it, it has a little pink flower on it. This is the runner one. You can see it's already making a little flower there. Hold on. Always trying to call me. Scam. Y'all have issues with people scamming you? Walk over here. Here's my little trop tropical area. I made it a little, little bigger last year or so. Here's a long and dead. I probably need to dig up. It's finally coming back. Here is the... Uh, this is the avocado tree that I got from Marjorie's parents' tree a year or so ago. You can see it's growing pretty good. And I grafted actually a, uh, a Lila cold hardy avocado tree on it. And it's pushing out growing now. I grew, I, I grafted a King Pong on it, but I don't know if it's going to take. I may have to push these down to encourage it to push out. Here's the, um, so this one was a, a tree grown from seed, but the parent tree was grown from seed as well. And we decided to call it Roberto because that's Marjorie's dad's name. And I do have it grafted, the, uh, its mother tree grafted at my house, at the, uh, not my house, my parents' place. It's a little warmer there. And then this one, I actually took cyan wood from their parents' tree. That's a, a mango. And it, uh, it's got a beautiful, like, dark red fruit on it. Dark, more, like, more orange. Dark orange. And I grafted it and it actually took for me. And we called this one Anna because it's uh, Marjorie's mom's name. Isn't that so cool? And eventually I'll take this rubber band off. I took the paraffin off here. And it's, it's healing. And these are uh, Belimbi or uh, um, Mimbado. I call it cucumber tree. They're doing good. Here's uh, mahogany growing. I know I got them growing too close. I'll figure it out. So I, I planted some uh, star star fruit recently that I got from John. Bought some from him. There you go. And then uh, I got to put more mulch in here. Here's another star fruit that's making flowers. Haven't learned the names yet, so I'm not going to say them yet. That was actually making flowers as you can see. I have a carry one that's actually making fruit. So here is my Harvey lemon that I grafted last year. It looks like we got it's like fire ants. I have to spray them. I've had, had a really bad issue with fire ants. It looks like fire ants. Maybe raisin aphids, I can't tell. Yeah, I've been trying to put out some stuff to kill them. They, uh, they messed up my garden. They messed up my guava fruits. And it looks like they're trying to mess up my, my citrus. The graft didn't take fully. It took halfway, but I think it's still going to make. I had to break this piece off. But yeah, they're, uh, these fire ants are, they're pretty destructive, you don't even realize it. Here's a black sapote. That's grafted, I can't remember the name of it. A lot of things I can't remember of. Here's the, that nona, that's growing pretty good. I got a big one at the parents' place. It's doing super good. Here's the uh, ice cream bean banana tree. And it was itty, it was super skinny that I got from John, but look how fat it's got, the trunk. Here's that pine cone ginger. So do you remember the video of the the monkey ear tree or the uh, the tree I got the seeds from 
animal kingdom there it is look how big it's got I had to cut it back because I had like five feet on each limb I want to keep it a little smaller look at the trunk of that that beetle better not hurt my tree you better watch out where you're going he won't mess with it because it is a beetle that loves dead decaying material like old wood and mulch so it's not going to hurt the tree here's the pawpaw from pawpaws that I grafted this is the mango one I learned that the mango one doesn't taste that great real stringent it just looks like a mango I mean the the fruit does so I'll probably regraft on top of that then we have a uh, jackfruit from seed growing We're actually doing pretty good here so I grafted this this is the air layer of the guava from the porch at the other place and I decided to graft the white guava on the ends of it but I don't think they took I was hoping they were gonna take but I didn't seem to have any luck figured I'd try if anything I'll try again in spring when it warms up there's the uh, catley guava that I'll I like how it bushes out. You can either trim the bottom and make it look more like a tree or make it let it or let it stay like a bush. It's doing good. Cold hardy to like 20 something. Here's the uh, I almost had a brain fart. This is egg fruit tree. This is the one from seed from David from down south. And here's one that's cultivated, it's grafted, called um, Frumpon. I think uh, nine 96, 81, universe, university uh, variety. And I grew it sideways so I can pull these limbs over as they grow upright to keep the tree wide and, and lower. Here's my BK longan. Had a big limb fall on it and break this limb. It was the same distance, it was so beautiful. But we, uh, it happens, so it's gonna grow back. It's already pushing out new little limbs. And then here we have some mango that uh, shot up a lot of multiple seedlings. So that means it'd be pretty close to the parent plant. So I might just let it grow. Here's my bees, I'm in the way of them. We, um, Here's a hogote. I think this was going to make it. It finally pushed out leaves. See what it does. This one never pushed out leaves. It only did flowers. So I knocked the flowers off. Hoping this will push out leaves. That will help it encourage it to make more make more roots for the, the trunk of the, the plant. Let's see. Let's over here have some different plants a lot of pawpaws over here growing here's some chestnuts I got on sale look at these plants over here I have enough sunlight over here more pawpaws that I got from David here okay. got some different plants this is a uh, cherimoya that I grafted the atamoya on top. It's not really the right time to graft. You've got to wait more near spring. I just did it just to do it. Just practicing. It's not gonna, probably not going to push out. If it does, I'll be like, wow, that's crazy. Here's the aki fruit that I got a seed from down south. Let's see it growing. Here's a um, Monroe that that actually took. See where I grafted it at. I have to cut this video off because I'm not getting enough sunlight. It's getting dark. Here is a star fruit tree that I grafted, but I don't. It's just not the right time to be grafting. Grafting. I can't talk. Here's a Kerry star fruit tree. I need to get in the ground. It's got fruit on there.
different uh, papayas, Tai Long from our friends down south. Here's a ice cream bean plant. It's doing good in the pot. Here's some of them sugar apples. I need to do the video about them that I got from uh, our friends at the Indian store. And uh, she and her husband, they grow them at home. And some of them are taking, are coming back from being repotted. They're going to do just fine. And I got a lot of fruit seeds that I'll plant out. We have another uh, longan I need to plant. This one's called a um, kohola, I believe. It uh, makes a lot of fruit, and the fruit's still good. There's other varieties that are better. Here's some of them passion vines from uh, uh, Dominican Republic. That makes a big yellow one. So I'm growing these out to try to plant next year and see which ones make the best fruits. Here's another uh, guava from David here. So we're going to say David here and David down south. If they see this video, they'll get a kick out of it. And David down south, thank you for... Look at the strawberry tree. Look how much it has grown. I got it in a pot right now so I can move it to I find a place to plant it. I haven't decided yet. Here's the Atamoya, uh, I think Gerfren, I believe. Um, I don't know what rootstock they grew it on. I'm trying to get it off, I think it's the sugar apple rootstock. I want to get it on a, uh, um, a Cherimoya rootstock. But it has been putting on flowers, but they're not taking because uh, it didn't really have a big root system. So I just put it in a big pot. And we'll have to get an idea where I'm going to put it at. Here's the Rolinia. I went to do a video on it. I'll probably do another video on it before and after when I bought it online. This is the Rolinia from Seed. I'm using the Ivy Organics 3-in-1. Keeps the beetles away. Some more egg fruits. Here's some more hogote. I don't want them making flowers because it's too much energy. I want it to make roots. Oh shoot, don't rip off the see the flowers. You don't want them yet because I did cuttings. Let the uh, the leaves grow. See, that's what the leaves look like. They'll push out like that. And some will push out and you're like, oh, is that a leaf? And then it'll be little flowers. So you don't want no flowers, too much energy. I want it to make roots. Long lady, long I said long lady, long leg daddy spider. Where you call him? Here's a uh, here's some of them giant milkweeds. They're doing good. Let's see what that is. That's something else. Yeah, there you go. I want to show everybody just a little bit what we got going. It's coming together. I got tons of Orinoco banana trees. Thanks to John again. Probably figure out where to plant them at. They need a lot of water, but we're about to get a lot of rain, so I hadn't tried to water yet. I know I'm neglecting you. It'll be all right. Here's a little star fruit. There's a little random one that popped up. I forgot to suck some here. Here's a Java plum. I gotta plant it out. Thanks to John. Here is the Aki. We're going to end this video. Like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you think. And I'll, I'll be making new videos soon. Oh, wait, wait. Before we end it, hold on a second. Hold on. It's more lighter over here. Also, thanks to David down south for the bicepotes that were growing out by seed. I think I had something else to show you. Oh, we had a little coconut. I gotta figure out what that is growing. I gotta move it. Got one in the front that I planted. Here is some gumbo limbo I need to plant out. And a Mexican sunflower that I need to plant out. They're doing good. Need to divide them. My idea I might just put it in a big pot and wait till next spring. Keep a few in a greenhouse and then plant one in the ground and see how they do. Alrighty. And uh, we'll catch you later. Is Blake Snatch alive? Have a good one.